Post trip moment number 27. Again, Steve Anderson showing his incredible ignorance and can't even read plain English scriptures. The Bible says he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Many is not Israel. The word many means four or more. Oh, really? Uh, could you please prove that the word many means four or more? But let's actually look at the scripture there, and he's saying that that means it's, you know, it's, it could be more than just, you know, Israel. It, it's many, you know, and, and it's, it doesn't mean Israel at all. Really? Let's look at verse 27 here. He shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Okay, you got it? And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. Um, who's going to rebuild the temple? and reinstitute sacrifice and oblation the Jews <laughs> uh, yeah apparently Steve Anderson can't read the context of the same verse where it speaks about the Jews bringing back the Old Testament sacrificial system I mean this guy's ignorance is, is astounding And so that's not a covenant with Israel. That's a covenant with many. There's no man. So, again, it's just a fabrication there. Now, this, this confirming of the covenant with many for one week, that might not even be something that we see. That's probably going on behind closed doors some way where, where the Antichrist is making some kind of an agreement with many people, perhaps Rockefeller and Rothschild in a smoke-filled room, whatever that is. It's dead sure not a peace treaty with Israel, though. It's some kind of a covenant that's being confirmed with many. That's what the Bible people perhaps rock. That's not a covenant with Israel. That's a covenant with many. There's no man. So. Okay, now watch what he says here. This is funny. Again, it's just a fabrication there. Now, this, this confirming of the covenant with many for one week, that might not even be something that we see. That's probably going on behind closed doors some way. Where, where the Antichrist is making some kind of an agreement with many people, perhaps Rockefeller and Rothschild in a smoke-filled room, whatever that is. Oh, okay, the Rockefellers and Rothschilds are confirming covenants with the Antichrist. And that's somehow many. Uh, yeah, a small group of people in a smoke-filled room, and that's many, and we won't even know about it. I think I think his, his mind is starting to... to to, to, you know, dissolve up here or something. Some problems. It is. It's dead sure not a peace treaty with Israel, though. It's, it's dead sure not a peace treaty with Israel. Uh, yeah, it is, because they're the ones that have sacrifice and oblation. That's who he's talking about. Steve Anderson doesn't know what he's saying. This guy's nuts.